Welcome back. It's the Weekly Dog Sportsman Podcast Show. It's your boy Mac Scott, the man Russian. And I'm East Southern, the man Taylor Street. And uh, man, this is this segment is called the best slip. We're in the uh, better verse. Yeah, we in the better verse. We in the better verse hot. We in the better verse hot. It's season one. I want y'all to like. First, I want y'all to like, subscribe, shit. I gotta do. I gotta do Eli's because Eli, he child. He so like, child. Like, subscribe, share, comment, comment. Give us some great content, man. Yeah. Start giving us yeah. man, feedback. You know, man, feedback. Brown Toro clean delivery and repair. The best slip. I don't want y'all to forget that I do that. I do those activities too. But let's get back into these bet back activities in the better verse. Uh, shout out to the cast. Shout out, out to Cash Out Brothers. Brothers, the group chat. I want to shout them out, man. Y'all know this segment right here, we go over bets and we drop bet strategies and bet knowledge. And uh, I'm just happy to be back, man, on the bet slip. We ain't had a bet slip in a while. We normally like to say, say this segment for um, football season and drop it with Bass Talk because uh, football is like one of the best betting seasons it is. So we kind of like saute and been marinating these bets, but man, let's let's shout out the football brothers. I mean, uh, <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm thank trying. God, no, thank God for football, yeah, man. Thank football God. is back. Football is back. I've been to you, man. Since football yeah. is back, I ain't gonna lie. I feel like it's been a breath of fresh air as far as the betting um, better versus I concerned. see, I see. You know, I feel like I you know, we're back. You know, I feel like we're back. We we understood our mistakes from the previous uh, sports and all that. Yeah. You know, people taking them real modest. And there's a lot of, man, so shout out to the Cash Out Brothers Shout again. out to the Cash Out Brothers again, man. It's a lot. A lot of winners. I want to kick it out. 89. Shout out to him. I want to shout out uh, Mr. Brooks. Brooks, man, he went crazy. Mr. Brooks. E, I want to shout you out, Joe. E, the hey. man Taylor Street been getting loose, Joe. Taylor Street got a, been, I, I hey. a couple of good 20 to 1s. I had a good 9 to 1, a 6 to 1. I'm hey, he been, hey, since week one, it didn't turn the tides. Uh, I want to really shout out Project, too. Shout out to the beginning hey. of the break. I want to shout out Project. E, let's get into a couple of these bets, and let's get into a couple of your favorites. Who you, who you want to kick it off with? You know well, what I'm man, saying? I'm going to automatically, uh, I'm going to jump it off with one of my favorites. It's 89. He came with the, he came with the plus um, a touchdown and a field goal for um, both teams in the first half and the second half. So you got to get, right. you got to get a touchdown. All right. On both. And it was a um, nice little, uh, a great, uh, a great bet right there, you know, to start the NBA season with the two teams that was uh, playing against each other. But that was one of my ones that I, I really love right there. It was a great 20 to one, you know, and two uh, field goals, <laughs> <laughs> uh, touchdown. No who else? Who else? What, what else you like? Like 89, 89 bet was solid. It was a WNBA bet. It was, it was a 12, it was a 12 leg bet. He took he took twelve legs. Shout out eighty nine. Y'all know he was on the show, man. Y'all know that's my bro, but y'all know we don't like. I personally don't like twelve. Let me let me clear that up. I personally don't like twelve legs, but he did it to the max. He did. He tuned everything down, teased everything down, altered everything down, and the WNBA players did their thing. He came out on top. So that strategy, I feel like. Works a lot, you know, I'm, I'm with it, but not with it. I still feel like it was too many legs, but it hit. So who am I? You know what I'm saying? Who am I to but, be you know, the, the judge of it? And he did it with the WNBA too, so that was the thing though. You know, he been rocking with WNBA, he been knowing him a, a little bit, so that was a that was a nice one for to end the WNBA for yeah. Hell yeah, so that was cool. Uh who else you want? who else you trying to man, cover? I got I gotta show I gotta show love to my man. Uh, Tony Tone Tone, you know. Oh, Tony, 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 Tony he Week One. Bounce, he loved to bounce back. Tony man. Week One. He, he got a head of plus four fourteen. You know, this is one of our more um, risk takers. Like he, you know, he'll do mortgage money and do a good. <laughs> 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 go, go, go. Don't stop that, man. I can Don't say stop. That. He I dry can say stitching. That. Hey, but he's more of our bands, though. But he, he more of our college guy, you know what I'm saying? He got a nice little three team with plus 414. Had the obvious money lines. He kept it he kept it money lines and told us with the unders. He knew exactly what was going on. Three teamer. Um, a three teamer plus yeah. 414, 250 to make $1,286. You know what I'm saying? And he had the liberty for the main line. He knew exactly what they was on with New Mexico State. You know, right. State bombs. You know, they had the other on North Arizona and Arizona. These guys, they be knowing what's going on before it happened. You know what I'm saying? So that was a nice one. And, and, and capped it off with uh, Oregon to beat um, Boise State. 
and Oregon at home. You know, put those two together. You know what I'm saying? So, he, so, he, so he had a college street team. College, the college football. Street team, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's dope. Yeah, and then you know, and then I got I got to show some love to what I done did because you know I even came through and saw came and saw him come. <laughs> He Man. went crazy. I, I went a little, I went a little, so I got You've been hot though, since football, yeah. since you've been hot. Someone, these are my, uh, you know, for me personally, I've been doing no, a lot of no sweat bets and stuff like that. So I like to take my money, put no sweat in. If I win, then great. If I lose, I still get my money back. This was a no sweat. You don't really get your money you know? back. You get bonus cash. I get, get my, I get, I, I get, I get bonus you money get, back. You feel like your money back. I get a second <laughs> chance. So all I'm saying to y'all, like, get y'all second chances. You feel like your money back. Know? Yeah, take you know, I, got, I got a nice little, you know, I, I did the um, the Philly game, the Green Bay game. I just took the quarterbacks for 225 yards. You know what I'm The running backs at 50 yards. You know, if you do that, the receivers, you know, at 50 yards. You know, it was a 17 one, and it got me five. It got me ten and one. You know, five dollars to make a hundred. Right, can't beat that. Trying, you know, yeah. You know, I'm, just, I'm I'm scaling stuff down this year because well, that, that's twenty to one, right? Yeah, no, nah, well, yeah, it was um, my bad. It was um, yep, twenty to one. Yeah, twenty to one. Yeah, okay. But well, yeah, you you snap. Dude, you post you posted a couple of ones. You had a baseball ticket too that you was riding out with the Sox and the Cubs. That one that one was hot. Uh, you had a few high, you had a few bangers. Man, shout out everybody who had bangers, man. man Mr. Yeah. Brooks, I want to shout out Mr. Brooks. I want, I want to shout him out personally. He went crazy with a uh, anytime touchdown ticket. Uh, I don't know all the touchdowns, but I know it was like a few of them, man. They all hit. It was a seven leg. It was a matter of fact, it was a six legger, and uh, it was two hundred to one. So I got to shout him out. He might have had the better of the week. And uh, normally, E, we only these type of things. We talked about I'm a pregame, actually, but he, I'm actually we couldn't over. go over so it, you know what I'm saying? So, so, no, 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 listen, it was a 201 bet. Yeah, yeah, he know me on this. And look, this is the, all he did was six, it was only six, six running backs. Six, six legs. Six running all backs. All running backs. Six different teams. And he had Brees Hall, the anytime touchdown. Okay. Aaron Jones, anytime touchdown. Okay. Joe Mixon, anytime touchdown. Okay. Ezekiel Lee. And man, that was a tough one right there. That was tough. That was tough. Yeah. Jeremiah Gibbs, anytime touchdown, and the last one. Gibbs, he had Gibbs from yeah, uh, Gibbs from Detroit. Inside his name touchdown. Jeremiah. Yeah, Jeremiah Gibbs. Man, man. And the last one he had though, and I don't say I don't know if this is a running back or not, but because McCaffrey was gone, he had Debo Samuel, anytime yeah. touchdown. Right. That was six, hot. Six, six running backs. All he did, six, six running backs to score a touchdown. He put fat dollars up, man, thousand eleven dollars. That's man, over man, Great, great over bet. It was so good. There's still so many things that I love about that bet. The consistency, it did have a whole bunch of legs. It was like, man, real thought out, all running backs, all players that should get an end zone when you add Debo Samuels because he's like a running back yeah. and a receiver. Like, and you can still pack, get the catch. So you could get a catch and get to the end yeah, zone. So. So, yeah, so we had to shout him out. And then last but not least, I got to shout out my homie Project, man. Project, he been going crazy. Well, he went crazy week one, set out project, because y'all know I always hating on project, but I gotta give him his flowers. He took money lines and spreads and he made it happen. I'm not sure what he had, money lines and spreads. He had money lines and spreads. Oh, you ain't got it pulled up right there? That's all right. We know he had, we, we know that one by heart, because we've been seeing it a lot. It was money lines and spreads. He picked a good nine, was it nine legs? Yes, sir. He had nine legs. He went beyond the threshold and he threw it in my face, so I gotta shout him out on the but show. Next time, give us your pre guys. Let Project next time give us your pre um, pre picks. Uh -oh. <laughs> he wanna see. He wanna check Project receipts. Who else? Yeah, he wanna, see wanna, see wanna the check your receipts, receipts, Project. Hey, oh, cool, my last man. my my last one I released. I gotta show some. My last one I released. I gotta show some love to my man right here because you know we've been on the Sox coattail all year round, and it's a lot of people that's been saying they're gonna bet with the Sox against the Sox. But this man right here, he a true Sox fan. And I got to I gotta show you some love with this shit right here. Man. Yeah, yeah. Real, I, real, I'll tell you about Cash and Kool-Aid, man. Talk, this, this, like, this been like... I'm going to say this and then we're going to get out of here on this segment right here. Because the, the best slip... It's best slip. It's, it's the best slip. Yeah, it's been fun. Know. And we got to drop y'all some knowledge. So, this White Sox wave... This White Sox wave was lit. I've been saying that. We've been saying that. This has been like our biggest one. As a matter of fact, we got to take shots for this too, bro. <laughs> Cause this been like this been like this is what the weekly dogs about. I went all the way with it, cause I've been riding this white sauce way. You gotta practice what you preach. You know what I mean? Like a lot of a lot of people, they might talk about bets, and, but they don't make the bets, and they don't right. follow the trend, so they don't really know. But 
Man, we kind of stand behind that, Joe. Like, we make the best. We post them in a group chat. We talk about them. This has been the winningest thing ever. Like, you know, they went on like three 10 game losing streaks. So, a 10 game losing streak is major, you know? And I'm not telling you that I caught every 10 game losing streak, but I caught at least two or three games in a row out the streak. And that's kind of how you want to do it. When you in and out, you gotta tie, you gotta kind of dabble, dibble and dabble in it, you know. So I just want to shout out the White Sox for continuously losing Man. and have one of the greatest losing seasons. And I want to shout out me, myself, and I for identifying it and riding with it because I am a Sox fan. I love the White Sox, and you know when your team is bad. So <laughs> when Man. your team is bad in the space age, if you bet against your team being bad, you can gain financial. Income and it make you feel better that your team is bad. So I've been showing. I'm so happy that my team been the best losing team of the season. It's like if you're not, if you're not first, you last. Well, you've been making so, money with them because they've been course, losing. That's the most. Of course, I've been making money with them. So, of course, because I've been telling you to bet the White Sox to lose every game, and so, they won. They lost 130 games and won 30 games or something like that. It's close to that. So the moral so, of the story is: if the Sox is minus 184, minus 210. To, minus. To, and I'm talking about the uh, minus 184, minus 210 for you to, to bet against the opposition team to lose. You put a hundred dollars, I'm gonna get you fifty. <laughs> man, it's the no ten. We gotta talk dice, man. Betting on the White Sox is the no That's ten. No 10. <laughs> but it's the no ten that come three, four That's times. 10, four. Four, two. Man, four, it's, two. Yeah, it's, it's the no ten that come three, four <laughs> times in a row. And you gotta get in there and get out of there. It's like betting the field. They come to the dice table, how put their money on the field. They might bet the field lose. They might bet the field double up lose. They might bet the field triple up and win. And then that's how the field is, you know. That that's how betting the White Sox is like a field bet, you know what I mean. But mostly, it hit. He throwing field bets. That White Sox been throwing fields all season, and I'm just happy to be they a part throwing, of they it. They been throwing me boosters. They got me a booster yeah. today. <laughs> yeah, you know the White Sox are gonna lose. We got to your Pile. So shout out to the group chat as a whole, foot up all season as a whole. The best slip is back. I hope y'all learn something, man. Like, man, I hope if anything you learn from this show on the best slip today, I hope you learn. Like, man, when you bet on a loser, like, you got to know two things. One, if you start betting with $50 that the loser is going to lose and the average money line is minus 200, if they lose 10 games in a row, guess what? It's going to be a G ball, no cap. And you can hop out at any time. You can get off that train on any stop. And the second thing I hope you learn is when you identify something that's called tracking. When you identify a losing team, you know how to track a team. Put them teams together. Track more than one team. One team, two teams, three teams. Like, we're going into football season. We're going to get into the dogs, E. But I'm going to close out the best of them <laughs> like this, right? We know right now that. Carolina is a losing team. We know right now that New York is a losing team. <laughs> so these are the teams for the NFL season. This week one, baby. It's the weekly we dog. I gotta come with it. No, we, go, we gonna go on break. We gotta go on like, break. Yeah, we gotta that's, go on that's, break. That's, <laughs> but man, hey, what the, we oh my, identified the America. losing teams already <laughs> in football. So we right. know they gonna lose that's two, three, three four though. games in a row. And uh, we coming back on the other side of the break with Bass Talk, and we gonna Bears get into the Bosco, and we gonna get into the picks and all of that. Man, other side of the break, it's the Weekly Dog Sports Band Podcast. Like, subscribe, share for more of this content. We back, baby, the spaceship. Let's fly off one time. Let's That's fly off one time. Let's fly off. <laughs> 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 Big <laughs> charge. <laughs> 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 Big charge. Uh, pause it. I hope you pause it, right? <laughs>